order. Oh, hello and welcome back to my channel. It's currently Friday, so I just finished I just finished school and um, I've got a few things planned this weekend. Today I am getting another tattoo. Um, it's a little dedication to my mother. Um, I actually told my mother that I wanted to get this tattoo and she was like, oh, let me pay for it. So thanks mum, I'm getting a tattoo for you and she's paying for it, which is fantastic. Tomorrow we are planning to go to Kangnan again um, but this is going to be in the daytime now me and my friends have been to Kangnan about two or three times but every time we go we always have chicken on the beach so we actually haven't been to the beach in daytime so we're going to do that tomorrow and then Sunday I'm not sure what I'm planning but I think I might do some thrift shopping that is the plan um, let me take you with me Hello, so I am back from getting tattooed. Um, she actually did my second tattoo and um, I decided to rebook with her because she is in Wonju and so um, I love that she's local, I don't have to travel too far and she's really reasonable. Um, for this tattoo though, I will show you. So this is it here. Obviously she is wrapped nicely. Um, my mother's birth year, so it says 1976. So this is the other tattoo I actually got from her. Um, she is so cute. She is Frida Kahlo. She is nearly fully healed. I think I've just got maybe another week and she is good. But yeah, I got this one done by her as well. She literally did it in like, uh, what, like 15 minutes or something like that. Then I stopped by and saw my lovely friend at the uh, cafe that's just down the road. Um, her cafe shop is called The Corner. If you are in Wonju, I highly suggest checking out her cafe. She speaks fluent English and she also has a florist store. So um, I actually went in there to just get a coffee. And then this is what she gave me. Some beautiful lilies. Thank you so much, Diana. They're beautiful. Um, and yeah, so my plan for tonight is to have dinner. I have not eaten yet. Um, and then I'm going to clean up a little bit sort out what I'm wearing for the beach tomorrow. So this is what my like after school kind of looks like. I look up Markiplier. Okay, so I've been actually watching like his um, Resident Evil videos. And so literally every time I eat dinner, I just like put one of these on, so. Definitely. I imagine they wanted me to fight those. So this is what she looks like. I did a terrible job making it appetizing, but um, yeah, bon appetit. So it's currently 9.50 and um, I made progress. So she is kind of clean, um, but obviously this is a mess because this is what I'm packing for the beach. But other than that, I cleaned my house. Well, let's be honest, this trip to Kangnan is very spontaneous, so I don't think we have anything planned. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some research quickly in bed um, to see um, what we want to do tomorrow. And I will, I'm always the person to find the cute restaurants and cafes, so that will be my plan for tonight before I go to bed. So I will leave you guys and uh, I will see you in Kangnan. Okay, bye. a little bit outside of Kangnan. We didn't want to go to the main beaches there as we knew it was going to be busy so we took a 20 minute taxi ride outside a little bit of Kangnan and we got to this beautiful beach. Now I actually found this through Instagram. I was looking at cafes and found that there was this very aesthetic cafe on the beach and decided to go there. Now this beach the water is super blue, it's not as busy, the waves are more calm 
and it's just overall really beautiful it makes you feel like you've been transported to a whole completely new country and i loved it So we're in Kangnam, but we decided to I like travel out. Places, so we're just kind of in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I wanted to. Where is she? I wanted to go to this cafe here, but she is. Here's Jade. Um, we it's booked out completely. Well, not booked out, but like every couple is there, and we can't get a seat. But we uh we did get our bivy. Got our bivy. But it's so nice. If you if you come to Kangnam, come like out a little bit because the water is so much more bluer. There's it's not as many people and it's like so nice. And you can get blue drinks too. That makes the water. Yeah. So yeah, we're just enjoying ourselves. And then we're gonna go get pizza. And yeah. then we're gonna go back to the beach. And then get dinner. And then get lit a little bit. And then go home. <laughs> we'll start early, nine o'clock, you know? Shall we at? This is Amok. We're at Amok. We moved. We literally went to the random beach. Then we went to a lunch in cafe. Then here. And then we're going to head to a cocktail bar. Yay! Today. It is a Sunday, you would have seen me go to Kangnam yesterday. A little update, a lot of the stores in Wonju that I went to at the start have closed down. So I don't have a lot of thrift stores anymore in Wonju and I'm kind of sad about that. But I am going to two new ones in Taejang, which is like a little bit out of the way. to go to a new thrift store and uh, if you can see she's over there and she's closed though they said it was meant to be open so here we are going to a different one so let's hope that that's open <laughs> every time I swear to god huh. So since thrifting was a bust that day, I decided to go to a cute cafe that I haven't been to and chill there for a little bit and then head home. But overall the day was really chill and yeah. So this lipstick making experience popped up recently in Wonju, so me and my friend decided to book. Now it costs around 30,000 won and that includes the whole making experience as well as, as a lipstick. You don't have to choose a lipstick, you can also make either a tint, a lip balm, a lip gloss or a perfume. What she does is she tests your skin tone and then she matches color shades or tones that will fit your skin tone. Now this whole experience was really fun. The owner doesn't speak a lot of English but she does try which I really appreciate and yeah I made this beautiful nude color and I love it. So I've been doing this vlog um, 
a June vlog. So you're probably just seeing a compilation of actually the things I did film. Um, I've been doing lots this month, but I just haven't been filming. It's currently somewhere June. Um, and I went out last night um, with a few friends. Um, we stayed out until like three o'clock in the morning. Wasn't planning to do that. Like every time I go out for a drink and then it ends up being four o'clock and we go to a club. But yes, um, I did that. Um, today is cleaning day. Um, my house is a mess. And so, yep, we're gonna do cleaning today. Um, tomorrow, I think we're going to a cute cafe, maybe some brunch. I might film that. Um, and yeah. one of my favorite western restaurants here in Wonju. Now you have to reserve to book for brunch or dinner but I highly recommend. They are all your favorite types of meals that you can get overseas but with a little spin. She makes everything with fresh ingredients and they are so tasty. It is on the pricier side but it is well worth it. delicious like so good yeah <laughs> every time i come here i'm like it's literally the best food because it's like proper western food that we kind of miss living here because we just don't get that you know like the good meals legit bread and like bacon i smell the bacon when you're cooking it i was like she's got real bacon like i yeah <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. It's very, like, subtle. Subtle? It's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How would you rate? It's so sweet. Is it? It's really nice, though. So. It's like jam. I've just recently gotten into blackberries and blueberries. Oh, that's right. All of it, because you need to get the cream. <laughs> mm, right? Show me. Pretty. I, you, I can do yellow. shopping here in Wonju we normally head to Jungan Market. Now there are two kind of areas. There is the market area which is this. You go upstairs and there's cute little craft stores, lots of like perfume making or candle making and then downstairs is the or the shopping street where you can get your clothing and yeah it's a really cute area. It's a little bit hidden the market but if you just go upstairs you will find it. Hehehehe <laughs> 